Hi everyone, uh, Anthony Cummins here from Natura Ryu. I just want to say, oh, listen to that, we've got uh, some waterfall down there. This is Wakayama Castle. Um, I'm in Wakayama, it's a Friday night, and there's the bridge and the castle reflecting in the water. And this is where um, our, um, he's, he's called, he's basically the grandmaster of rejuvenation that's where he used to serve and that's where he put most of our school together from the older stuff so i just wanted to share that with you and i hope you enjoy it that is a uh, wakayama castle by night and pretty much the seat of natori ryu That is cool. That is mint. All of them are told to put the shoes the correct way. I'm impressed. That's really good. Right, I'm having a... I'm at a... Nanny. Uh, again, sorry, they're just joking. My friends are joking behind me. So we're at Okayama Castle, and uh, on that mountain top, there's a ruins of another castle. And this is to be trying to show you the difference between these are city castles in the middle of the city, but when the Sengoku period. They're on mountains or in hilltops because it's more strategically impressive or important or required. So um, that's just to show you the difference of how the change is between Sengoku and Edo. I'm here with, um, we're having barbecue. I've got with Miyako Takahashi, Miyako's parents, and we're eating bibimbap. Bibim I've eaten this before, but it's, it's a long time. And basically it comes with a hot pot and it starts cooking itself in there. So we've had a great day actually. Uh, okay, I'm a captain there. I'm telling Miyako off for not opening it correctly on camera scene is there, but it's a good lesson actually, because even the Japanese don't do it when they're outside of formal situations. So uh, I was like, you know, how come you're not doing it formally? And she's like, oh, it doesn't matter really in, in truth. So this is what everybody perceives about the Japanese being all this, do it absolutely correct. And half the time they don't. So there they are guys, basically you've got the uh, the wooden cases for them, there's the sire. And then, see this one here, it's got Sanskrit on it and it's Edo period. And it's got the Sanskrit for it, that is, for those who don't know, basically you keep them in these, to keep them outside of them. And then when you need them, you swap them back in. That is a wicked blade, that Miyako, that is impressive. So, and you've got the certificate, was it? And there's the licenses. But that's when people talk about registration of swords in Japan. There, there are the cards they mean, and you've got like your registration numbers and things like that. I'm just asking Miyako how to get these storage sires, and she's actually said um, I'd have to get it measured up basically because my sword is really curved. It's got a it's clearly a tachi cut down. So I need to bring it to Japan, but the problem is they say it's going to cost about £2,000 to uh, get it checked in Japan. And that's before I even start. Let's get it checked, polished and registered. And that's before I even buy the thing. So I think it's going to have to wait that one. And for those people, just I, d I don't mean to be sly with it. For those people who... Um, say I don't interact with Kori or anything like that. Miyako, not massively high, but she's got a second dan in, in uh, Shinkagi Ryu, isn't it? Yeah, I do Shinkagi Ryu. Shinkagi Ryu, yeah. Hyoho. Yeah, so basically, yeah, Ryu. Hyoho, sometimes it's Heiho, but I think they call it Hyoho, which is absolutely perfect, it's fine. There's different variations on it. But when I say to people, you know, that's not realistic and that's not going to work. The Japanese people I'm actually talking to are saying, yeah, that doesn't work in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's not really how it used to be. These are guys graded in it and they tell me, I've, I've got another video coming about that soon. So basically I'm here with Mirko's mother, Mirko at her house. And um, this line there is their vegetable patch. And that's what I was eating this morning, which is superb. Me and Miyako have come to um, 
a basically a sword gallery stroke sword polisher's house and uh, I'm in I'm in basically what was known as Bizen and Okayama at the minute and just past the castle and it's famous for sword making this town so as you can see Nihon Katana stuff and uh, this is where we're gonna go so I'm not sure if you'll let me film or not but we're going in to see a sword polisher What's the name of it? Chaosuyama Castle. Chaosuyama Chaos. 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 Doesn't sound Japanese. <laughs> Chaosu. Chaosuyama. So Mirko's just saying up there, Chaosuyama is a, an old castle that used to be there. So she said now there's a park. But again, back for our conversation, there's um, that's where castles used to be. They used to be on hills, and I don't think they were quite as big as everybody imagines. There were more palisades and uh, very much obviously not the same as but Norman keeps sort of that idea where they're much more temporary if you know what I mean um, and only the stronger castles came later with Nobunaga and things like that and they even say that the first real major castle was by Nobunaga before that they were very much barricades if you like or you know of course they had but they're not the castles you imagine from a Japanese culture they're a little bit different Okay, two minutes ago, uh, we just showed you the other castle. Now there's this castle. She says this one here. What was the name? Sorry, Toda Matsu. Toda Matsuyama Castle. Okay, that's that would have been up there for obvious reasons. You can clearly see. Oh, oh. Should we... You can clear. <laughs> we can't get a clear shot. Hold on. There's a there's a space coming up. Right. For obvious reasons, that had a castle on the top of it and controlled the local area. Some mad frog there. Um, okay, guys, we're in Ikeda territory, and this school was built in the 1670s, and it was built to teach Confucianism to uh, the local farmers, not the samurai. The Lord decided he wanted a more educated population, so he made that in 123 smaller schools uh, around the area, so so basically farmers could get educated, and you know local people and their children, etc. And it was focus on Confucianism. Which guys, if you think about it, to be honest, have a think. The Lord wanted his people to focus on Confucianism. And what does Confucianism teach? Confucianism teaches know your place in society. So basically, he taught them how to know how to be farmers and never go against them. If you, that's, that's the idea of Confucianism. So make sure you, you, know, you have a think about how things are done. It's very nice that he did it, but also uh, Confucianism at that time was very popular because it kept everyone in their place. Mirko was just telling me that this is quite famous because you don't often get a rounded top on these um, sort of uh, structured walls and the roof is all made, the tiles are all made from Bizen pottery which Right guys, I'm here with Yamamoto-san he just wants to, David's been doing some artwork for the council so he wants to reward him if you like so he's writing a chapter from the Shoninki
How's that one? So David, that's for you, mate. Uh, I'll try and get it to you when I can. I might have to do it when I get to Tokyo. For those who don't know, his kanji is quite high level. He competes in Kyoto and things like that. So uh, this is not just random writing. He genuinely has a qualifications and he's part of a syndicate and writes, professionally is the wrong word, but writes within that community. Right guys, I've got a lecture tomorrow and uh, this is in the local newspaper. So they've put me in there to say, you know, come and have a look. Right guys, I'm here with Yamamoto-san. We're back at Eonji. We've just, sorry, it's bright there. We've just spent uh, the entire day. It's now two o'clock and we spent the entire day at the castle. We've had two meetings, one at Wakayama Castle and one with the Wakayama Ninja Castle team. Uh, as you can see, I'm sunburned, it's bloody hot, and um, we're just about to eat sushi. But we had a meeting with the castle team to try to change the identity of the shinobi in Wakayama and try to change the, 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 the display. So we went around and checked the displays, and they wanted to know about museums in England and things like that. So hopefully there's a lot of change going on there. They've come to me. Obviously, I'm now the official tourism master, blah, 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 you know, that position. So now we're going to change the way we think about shinobi, hopefully. So, so Yamamoto-san gave me this and basically you go around the temples and you get them signed. I'm not really into that to be honest. I don't want the, the signs about it. So what I'm going to do is change that and then this is Natoryu. I'm going to change it to the names of all the scrolls through and through. So let's have a go at that. He's going to write the first 10 for me. So the next one, that says Natoryu, basically a gun show, which is the military writing to Natoryu. And he's now going to write Heika Jordan. So I'll come back to you in a bit, guys, when he's finished. Right, guys, I just want you to know, there it is in the Toryu Gun Show no Mokuroku. We've changed it to Natoryu Gun Show uh, no Mokuroku. And there they are, Heika Jordan, Heiku Yoho. And there's the original scroll, and there it is. Boom, 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 boom. That's the art. So, and there it is. We're remaking a new treasure. So, um, how cool is that? That is our school's writing. I hope you're enjoying it, chaps and chapesses. Those of you who are watching this on my Anthony Cummins channel, make sure you go over to my Natoryu channel. People don't realise that. Natoryu is a very real school and it was of course a very real Koryu and it was a prestigious school, one of the best in uh, Wakayama and for one of the most powerful families there ever was and in Japan the Tokugawa family or a branch of the Tokugawa family and that, uh, that list there represents tons of information and that is only about 40% of Natoryu, that's about 40%. There's another, at least another 60, 70% to go after this. But for the moment, they're secret. Right, guys. I am disheveled. I am hot. I am red. It has been so busy here. I mean, like, proper busy. And we just did a meeting with um, the castle this morning. The castle 
tourist board. We went around everything. Then I did a meeting with the ninja people who are outside the castle, who are under a different branch of the local government, and therefore, even though they're in the room next to each other, I have to have a different meeting with those guys. So I've taught them, basically. So I'm teaching the castle correct ninjutsu, and I'm advising them on what they should do for uh, Western people and their approach to understanding history. Uh, obviously, I've got degrees in and, um, ancient history, and I've got uh, archaeology, and I've done a lot of museum stuff. So I was giving them my opinion on that and correcting English, things like that. Um, then Yamamoto-san has done this for me. So he's done, let me hold the right way for you. He's done that for me, which is the, uh, what's it called? The, oh, wrong way. So Yamamoto-san has done this, which is been writing. Then we get a phone call from NHK Wakayama. If you don't know what NHK is, NHK is basically Japan's BBC, but it's Wakayama, so it's regional. And then we get a phone call from NHK National. <laughs> so we got a phone call from two. So on the 2nd of June, uh, I've got, which is in two days, I've got to give a lecture, at which the NHK Wakayama will be there. And then on the 4th of June, I have, sorry, yeah, 4th of June, I have to go around Wakayama Castle shooting different videos and they have to shoot me shooting videos, which I'm still not quite sure what's going on yet, but basically, so I've got to go on telly for once, but two interviews. And then I've got a meeting with um, NHK National, so to see where they want to go with Ninja and what they want to do with Ninja. So guys, it's been mega busy here, mega busy. So um, everything's looking great and everything is great, but I'm not getting any work done. That's fine, though. That's fine, uh, because it's it's about you know, I came here to get involved with everyone. I came here to get you know to grips with all the people of uh, Wakayama. So it's going well. It's going well. The Japanese are starting to listen, which is it's nice. If you don't know much about Japan, it's very bureaucratic, and the old people run it. So uh, lots of people in position of like, uh, which is the old fashioned way, which is they got to the top of their position, and that's where they are. But they, they had their heyday like 30 years ago, so they're very much living in the 1950s or living in the 1970s. And all the young people saying, listen, this is the way to go. We're going to have to do Instagram, YouTube. They're, they're, they're so far behind that it's ridiculous because the young people are not allowed to make decisions over the old people. So um, they're starting to move now, which is nice. Right, guys, I've just been given a gift off for her. <laughs> we do have wrapping, but it's very difficult. <laughs> so, basically, I've just been given a gift of uh, lacquerware from the Yamamoto family, which I'm really grateful for. We've just finished the, um, we've just finished the, what's it called, the seminar, the lecture, and they've given this gift. I'm wonderful. We had a great lecture. Sorry I couldn't film it. I had to switch my phone off so we didn't interfere with the computer or everything. So today we're just going to go through uh, what we did today. And we're trying to rewrap the Japanese style. Right, I'm here. With, we're in. We're back in the noodle bar, and Yamamoto-san says I'm useless for not being able to do this, and he says he can do. Oh, all right, then you just proved me wrong. <laughs> Alternate Zembu. This is nice, guys. This reminds me of when I was a kid, and my gran used to go to shops in the morning, we're waiting for the shop to open, and uh, all the women are here. You know, the older generation where it was pretty much women make the home and men go to work. That, that, that generation is still here in Japan. That, that, that's just fading out now. Um, but this is the last of the generation of the sort of like women get up in the morning, go to the local market and then go home, cook for the day. And the next day they're all here again, waiting for it. It's very, I think you won't see this very much anymore. I think these days will go soon. So uh, they have in England, people just randomly Bill in and out whenever they want it, male, female, kids, you know. But this is it's just quite interesting to see pretty much all female waiting in the shop. Right, it's the morning with Yamamoto san. It's the day after, and we're, uh, no, two days, and this is the newspaper. So uh, we're in the newspaper this morning, he's just given me a copy. So um, we did really well, actually. It's a really good no newspaper article, and we're just waiting for uh, NHK to turn up, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
の和歌山市の今置かれている現状、繁華街が寂しくなっていく。So we're here today. We've just had these backed. That's David's、uh, at the temple. It's been sent away and it's been backed and it's strengthened basically. And that's mine. Mumon no Ikan. That's for Anthony. So they are cool. They're going to go on our walls individually. So I'm here with the Yamamoto family and we're just about to watch the program at 6 30. It's Wakayama TV. <laughs> This is extremely interesting. I'm with Yamamoto san and we're ordering sushi, but I've changed it to English. And we're, he's trying to order in English and I'm trying to order in Japanese. And he's getting a little bit crazy. So I'm here with Yamamoto san and we've come to Wakayama Sword Shop. So、uh, we're going to go have a look and have a look at some of the armor. So let's have a gander. Right, guys, some, some extra special here because I am the official ambassador <laughs> for Wakayama. They've allowed me to come into this、uh, Yagura turret. Now, it's actually overgrown with weeds. I'm about to get stung like mad, but this is original from Natori's time, and nobody's allowed in here.、So、they've allowed us to come in.、Ah. Oh. We're allowed to come in. I know it's very dark, but let me get to the other end. To be honest, it's a little bit on the scary side. You don't know if one of these planks is going to go through. There you go. So, this is pretty much from Natori's time. Natori himself may have actually been in here because he was a castle, not a guard, that's wrong. He was a guard to the, the, to the Lord. So, he may have come in and checked things. We don't quite know his position. But he definitely, definitely would have been around here, maybe even inside, which is superb. So、uh, I actually feel quite、um, grateful to them because they don't normally let anyone in here. Right, guys, we've come to Moss Burger. I'm here with the grand and one and only Yamamoto san. We're sitting looking at the castle, and I've just done the. We're making official tourism videos. They're only little things that we're doing on YouTube just to help promote because that's my job now. So, Yamamoto is going to edit them and upload them, and we're going to probably post them on the Natori channel. And then hopefully, people will come to Wakayama. I've just had a Zazen lesson with、um, Yamamoto here, so we just, we're just finishing. So, we're going to try and get this flat again. So, that's the Senko Date, which means、um, basically incense、uh, stand. All right. So, I've just asked him how he gets it so flat. Ready for next time. Oh, that's mint.、Mm. That's bang on, that, my old dog. Ah! <laughs> 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 It's my go. Just a moment, hold that.、Mm. Yeah, good. Right, watch this, chaps. So let's just mess it up. This is harder than you think. He says I can do it left or right, it's both okay. Oh, can't peck it. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not perfect, apparently. Okay. No good. No. What are they? I know. Hmm. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a monk. I can do it all. <laughs> <laughs>
for his I'm good then. Basically, he says he can do it more um, beautiful when he's got time. So he's getting a small one now to just show me an example. Do these have a name? Hainarash. Hainarash. Superb. Oh. Right, guys, I've got about two days left in Wakayama. I'm here in Ayunji Temple, and we're just about to have tea and cake here. So we're, we're about to eat and probably discuss something that we're going to do with the future. In fact, we're having problems, basically, with the way Japan is set up and its bureaucracy. It's quite difficult. So we're going to just discuss um, what we're going to do to make this temple the heart of sort of shinobi information. So this is civilized. We are sat here discussing Jingasa metal helmet. So we found the Jingasa of the last Natoru Grandmaster. Found is the wrong word. He's had it all the time, but we've finally seen a picture of it. So we're trying to see if we can get hold of it. So when you go to temples, you can get some, um, which is like a little stamp mark painted in each temple. And it's a few hundred yen, but Yamamoto is great at these and these collection books. だった。アロヒナ。バンガタ。ジーサマガタンボのコサトリオシテイルト。ストリテショナルストーリーテリングキャラクター。Guys, I'm on the Shinkansen back to Tokyo. I've just left Wakayama today, so um, I'm going back to Yoshi's house for the final three weeks of my Japan trip. So, uh, get work on book two done as much as possible. Okay, let's go and let's crack on. Right, I'm back at Yoshi's house, and I thought I'd come back to some sophisticated discussion about deep medieval, I don't know, documents. It's a Saturday night. Is it Saturday? What day is it? Friday. It's Friday night and I am wiping plums down. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi is making plum shochu, is it? Mm. Yeah, and we're making sort of like plum alcohol and I'm picking out plum stalks and rubbing the plums and Yoshi is instructing me on the correct way that I have to rub the plums. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at this, I'm not allowed to bruise them in any way. Or any, I've got to get back to work, Yoshi. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've got to go. The plums are being made. That's it, we made it. That's, what's it called, Yoshi? Umeshu. Umeshu. So ume is the plum, and shu is the alcohol. Right, guys, for those who are wondering, like, how we do the work and how, um, you know, people say, oh, you know, Anthony doesn't speak Japanese. How does it work? How can you understand? Now, of course, I'm not going to show the old Yoshi. She's over there, out of camera shot. That's Yoshie's workstation. And this is one of the places, people say, how, how, I don't understand Anthony, how it works. Now this is where it's really complicated because we have three, oh, sorry. Oh, we have three separate versions of the same thing. So there you go, we've got three separate versions of it and they actually slightly differ. So, and this has now become a problem. This, this sentence here, 
is difficult and we've got the CUDEN version which is here but it's really difficult and we've hit a we've hit a part where we're like really we don't know how to do this so um not because the language itself is so ambiguous that you're like what he moves here he does this and even with the pictures it's not quite sure and and even the other pictures there's a little bit of difference in the kudan so this is where i say to many people koryu actually has changed over the hundred years the difference between this picture and the original picture or the first ones of these three different towns is about a hundred years and already there's changes creeping in in koryu so this idea that koryu has never changed you know up until it's rubbish um already it's changing here within within two generations so what we've got to do now is we're stuck and we've got to go to the library and look for any research that's done on ashigaru uh, movement ashigaru troop formation so we are going to take a few hours out now and go look at yoshi's local library and see if we can find an answer in uh, somebody's research so that's how it works guys it's literally we sit here all day going through it sentence by sentence and then as you can see here this is where it's the problem is this sentence is a problem this sentence is a problem. We finally got this. It took about an hour to get this sentence to black, which means it's done. And we're, we're struggling with this one. We're struggling with that one. So people say, oh, how, how, how do you understand it? This is how it works. So the Yosh is obviously reading it in its original form. Let me get its original form there. And we're translating it into English. But now we are stuck. So we've got to go do some research to try and get it sorted. So I hope that shows you what we do here. Right, we've just come out of the library and the Yoshi has come out with a list of schools to go check. We're going to go check Wasada Library um, online collection, see what we can get, see if there's any scroll names with Ashigaru sort of. Where, where's the Yoshi going? <laughs> see if we can get any scroll names of. Um, sorry, any scrolls containing Ashigaru movement, troop movement, things like that. So we didn't find the information there, but we found which scrolls do that. Okay guys, it's, we've been at this for hours now and to give you an example, we've come and we've tried to find the schools and go through. These are uh, information on shooting from different schools. We're trying to find it. It's The answer is not actually there, but we think we've solved it now. And this is the parade marching and where they move and everything. So this is the idea behind what actually happens when we translate, guys. If we've got to take that scroll there, as you can see, it, the the... It's not so clear straight off the text, um, but obviously trying to search in different schools, it's not come up, but eventually we've gone through it and gone through it and gone through it, and I think we've got it sorted. So that will then get turned into a JPEG and then be published when we publish it. But that is, it's now time for a cup of tea, Yosh. I will make you a cup of tea, Yosh, yeah. Right guys, it is uh, getting close to me going back to England now, so I'm enjoying the Japanese lifestyle with the Yosh Malarkey. I miss it. Hi. <laughs> um, no, it's, this is a normal Japanese meal. She's upset because it's not a perfect meal. This is just an average Japanese meal. This is what it's like, guys, living in Japan. Some sushi, yeah, so some sashimi, some soup, homemade, some rice, some onion thing, uh, some calamari if you like and uh, non-alcohol beer <laughs> so because uh, we're wild partying <laughs> In the spirit of aid and friendship in um, the ninja community, which is something I've always wanted to do, I've got some research from Kawakami's book here. Sorry, well, Kawakami has done his book, and I have found some research that I think will help him with the problem he's got here. So um, I'm going to send him a letter uh, with the information we have found, just a little lead to help him out. So let's see if we can help and come together as a community to... Um, to help each other. You're right, guys. Couple of days till uh, I leave Japan, but just wanted to show you this. That's my YouTube thingy. 
and I've just uploaded these Visit Wakayama uh, videos and they're not doing good at all. Normally my videos hit between 900 and 1000 hits, but these are not even topping 200, maybe 300 max at the, at the thingy ones. Why are you guys not interested? I, I've purposely gone round and filmed everything about bits of castles. You can go inside the original castle. Uh, you can go and, you know, see some old dojos, but yet nobody's interested. <sighs> I don't know. It's a bit of a surprise, that. People want to know about Japan, and they want to know about the martial arts, and they want to know about castles. So here it is. I've filmed it all for you guys, and you've not even opened them. So if you're watching this video as an Anthony Cummings in Japan video, go back and have a look at the Visit Wakayama, because there's some good stuff in there, guys. So I hope you enjoy. Right guys, I'm in the airport, I'm leaving Japan now, I'm not happy. Last night I went for a meal with um, um, Mr, oh sorry, Dr Stephen Turnbull. Uh, I didn't want a video last night though, because it was the first time I've ever met him, so I didn't really want to, you know, um, I know he's not a big YouTube fan, so I didn't want to just say, let's put a camera in your face and put you on YouTube for the first time I met him. So, um... It was good fun though, we went for a curry and we had a nice time, we talked about his new book, he showed me some insights of what he's doing, it's all very good. Uh, I'm very sad to be leaving Japan, don't want to go home. Um, I am ready to go and sit by a fire though and drink port, you know, proper English style, but I'm not really ready to leave Japan yet. So this is um, basically me, I'm going to show you now my return journey. I've been here for three months, so that's three months of this year has been spent in Japan doing research, got about another five or six ninja scrolls which puts my collection at about 50, 55 full blown ninja scrolls which is mint so um, I just wish we could get them translated quicker, me and Yoshi had done Book of Samurai number two as much as we could, now i just got to go finish it off at home um, obviously the Yoshi and you've seen the rest, uh, the Miyako creature and you've seen the rest of it so that's all cool, uh, right guys um, I will keep, I'll let you know how I get when I get home so I'm back in the UK guys, back when we're at the farmer's market, so this is, um, it's nice to be back, you know, to proper good old English style stuff. I'm just on my way back, Brian's taking me home, I'll show you Brian in a minute, but it's nice to be home actually, I'm looking forward to getting that port and that cheese later. So I'm here with Brian, this is my friend Brian. And I'm back in the UK, as I say, we, these, these are bringing you home. His wife's just out of shot on the other side. Get in shot, right? But uh, basically, as I say, back in the UK, so he's driving me home kindly. So uh, we should get back in an hour or so. So it's been, it's lovely to get back to uh, England, even though we're in Wales. Right guys, I'm back in the UK, fully now, this is it, I'm here, I've got my beautiful fire on, I've got my archaeology magazines up there, my old guitar, and basically I just want to say I've enjoyed Japan, I go there because I hope you guys, obviously I go there because I do my research, but what I mean is I make these videos because... I hope you guys can enjoy what I've enjoyed. You can see behind the scenes in Japan. I very much, in not only a part of Japanese culture, but go be below and further than that because we're into like the, the temple culture. I get to use temples. I'm into the uh, official side at Wakayama, in meetings at Wakayama. So, you know, there's lots being done out there. And I'm doing it for you guys. Whether you dislike or like Anthony Cummings' work, it's it's all based on historical documentation. There is a catalog number every time I publish it. There is an aura a place where you can get a copy of this, um, the work for uh, you know if it's available for you to publicly go there, so people can make sure what I'm doing when I can. I can put the Japanese in as much as possible. The point is, is that whether you like it or dislike it, this is the truth about the samurai. This is the way they actually did. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you got all the way through it. I look forward to obviously more trips to Japan and please just remember we should all stick together. We're all of the samurai. It doesn't matter how much we disagree. We all love the samurai So let and the ninja. So let's get on and make sure we all work together to make the, get the truth about samurai. Whether it's what we agree with or don't agree with, we've got to look at what is actually the truth. So looking forward to hearing you from you guys in the comments.